so welcome once again uh, and and the previous video we have discussed about uh, noise outliers and signals so let's have a brief uh, overview of that we have discussed that there is no such definition for the outliers or noise an outlier is simply a data that doesn't fit within the other data that you are analyzing whether or not it is a member of the group distribution class or a model it is unrequired whereas the outlier can be a data point or it can be noise so no we know that the noise is more difficult to define but we can simplify it by just having some unwanted signal or incorrectly fitted for further details you can watch the previous video and in this video we are going to discuss about goodness of fit what is what is the best fit line and then we will proceed towards understanding the bias and variance from very much important uh, machine learning tutorial so here let's have a look at this line so when we look at this line this is uh, somewhat like a white and black line fits are there and the data well so the green line in this case is a certain like overfit like we can see if this black is the decision boundary this black line is representing the decision boundary and in this case these blue some blue points are lying here and some red lines are lying over here it means the model is not properly trained so the green line which is uh, taking the signals out from the class is representing something related to overfitting so it means the model is not properly fitted so we say that goodness of a fit simply refers to how closely a model uh, predicted the values that are matched to the true value so we simply say we are having certain actual values and we have predicted values that is predicted by the model so if the actual values and predicted values are very much close that is there is least difference between the actual values and the predicted values we consider it as goodness of fit a model that has learned the noise instead of the signals is considered is known to be overfit because it fits the training set data set but has poor fit with the new data set because it is able to proceed with the previous ones so when we talk of these things uh wise so when we talk of this bias point so bias is simply occurs when an algorithm has limited flexibility to learn the true signal from the data set so basically bias is the difference between actual and the predicted values we know that the fitness curve is representing how closely uh, the predicted values and the actual values are related and the bias simply tells the difference so let in this case if the uh, this green line represents the actual values these are the actual values whereas this red lines are is the predicted value so we can see there is a gap between the actual values and the predicted values so this is nothing else than wise so here wise we represents the difference between the actual values and the predicted values it is the simplest assumption that our model makes about a data to be able to predict the new data so but is the problem with this the bias is it is if it is high then the assumptions why made by our model are too basic that is the model cannot capture the important features of the model so if the important features of the model are not captured it means the model will not work properly and when we talk of bias it will results in underfitting why underfitting because in this case we know this is the our best fit line the fitted line or the decision boundary and in this case we can see the model has uh, predicted these values so this is the data and these few line and points are not nowhere uh, close to each other so that is underfitting problem we will discuss about uh, underfitting and overfitting in the next video so now let's discuss what are the various errors from the bias so we know that this is a difference between models expected predictions and the true values here it might uh, sound strange because we should not affect uh, expect your predictions to be close to the true values it's not always easy because the algorithms are simply too rigid to learn and complex from the data set 
so uh, in this case if this is the best fit line that is being represented which is about linear regression to a data set it has a non linear pattern from this points we can say so here we say that uh, many more observations can be collected a linear regression will not be able to model the curves in the data and in that case it is known as a problem of underfitting and about vice vice is nothing else this is very opposite to the variance is simply opposite to the vice so vice is the model sensitivity to the fluctuations in the data that is a model may learn from the noise this will cause the model to consider trivial features as important like in this case say we we say that we have over trained the model the model is trained with too many features when we talk of vice we have trained the model with very basic features and when we talk of variance we have trained our model with too much features that are even not required means we have trained the model with the noise as we have seen in the previous video about the noise so now when there is noise we are training the model with the noise unwanted data is there with, with which the machine has been trained then it will definitely leads toward the problem of overfitting so in this case this is actually image of a cat so when the model is trained with too much faint overtraining is done it is being predicted as a, a true prediction can be done but in this case this is a image of a fox and what is happening in this case because the model is trained with the noise it is predicting the uh, this fox as a cat itself now suppose take the real life example suppose you are playing a game and you are playing that game day and night fine suppose you are very crazy about a uh, candy crush game so what will happen in that case you whenever you get time you play candy crush you are waiting for the lives to come so what will happen in that case suddenly you wake up at night you will start play playing that game candy crush so that game has hacked your mind so when your mind is being hacked by something it means if someone show you something else you will be able to see only candy crush this is how our neurons are trained with that particular thing so this is happening in this case our model has been done not trained with too much features and the there is noise also in the data it will definitely uh, known to lead towards the problem of overfitting so when we talk of variance it will look like this in this case so it refers to your algorithm sensitivity to specific sets of data high variance algorithm will produce drastically different models depending on the training set so we can imagine over here and about an algorithm that is completely unconstrained super flexible model to same data set or the above so this will definitely leads towards the problem of overfitting about underfitting and overfitting we will discuss completely in the next video so this is about the vice variance overfitting so if you have a look at this image we are having said this is our model decision boundary and this is the data the lines are actually lying over here but there is a certain curve like structure in this case fine so even in this case this is a problem of variance overfitting as we have already seen in this image also there were we were having certain blue points over here and certain red points over here this was a decision boundary and if we try to uh, fit this line it will look like this but this is the problem of overfitting so as we are aware of uh, the problem of vice and variance so we now we can proceed to words understanding the the issue that will happen with the problem of vice and variance so now let's understand uh, the trade off between vice and variance so if we have a look at this diagram this is just a image of uh, uh, target points uh, uh, this is my exact target the center point here and then the farthest one now here we see if we are talking of vice 
it simply represents the difference between actual and predicted it means it will, it will represent if we say high wise then what will high wise represent high wise represents means too much different too much distance from target because we are very far from the target that is high wise and if we talk of low wise it means very less distance between the target and the predicted ones now when we talk of variance so variance represents scattered points scattered points so if the variance is high then we will get more scattered points if this variance is low then the points will be close to each other fine so based on this if we have a look at this diagram this is low wise means we are close to the target so the points are lying over here at the same time this is low variance also when we talk of low variance we know that the points are close so when there is low wise and low variance the points are very close to the target exact or maybe exactly on the target very much correct prediction and this is the case which shows the points are even not scattered fine so when we talk of low bias low bias means we have discussed very less very near to the target so in this case we can say the points are near to the target but this is representing high bias high variance also so if this is high variance the points will be scattered so the points are scattered in the case now let's have a look at this point high bias now when the point the, when the bias is high means we are far from the target the distance is more more distance from the target but variance is low it means points will be close they will not be scattered so here we can say high bias low variance now let's discuss the further case which is saying the bias is high also the variance is high it means in this case distance from target will be more at the same time the points will be scattered so this is the case when high bias and high variance now when we talk of low bias and low variance the problem of underfitting will occur and when there is high bias and high variance the problem of overfitting will occur so when we talk of this bias and variance trade off this variance this trade off is relevant for supervised machine learning especially for predictive modeling it's a way to diagnose the performance of algorithm by breaking down the prediction error in machine learning an algorithm is simply a repeatable process which is used to train a model from a given set of training data so there are three types of prediction uh, errors can occur that are bias variance and irreducible error so bias variance we already know uh, we will discuss about irreducible so irreducible error is also known as a noise and it cannot be reduced by cho your choice of the algorithm it typically comes from inherent randomness a misframed problem or incomplete feature set so talking of variance and bias trade off the problems from where which we suffer in this case these are bias problem bias problem and the noise problem this noise problem is also known as the third type of error which is irreducible error so this irreducible error is nothing else it is simply noise so when we talk of this it is talking about the randomness and it cannot be treated this is very dangerous thing this it should be completely removed because it our algorithm is not going to handle the noise so noise should be handled during the pre processing pre processing phase so when we are doing the data pre processing focus on removing the error removing the noise that is irreducible error if you don't remove the noise at the stage of pre processing and you are training the model with that then definitely your model will be 
underfitted or overfitted and it will not be matching the correct fit line and there may be other types of error also that can be reduced by the algorithm that is bias and variance so when we talk of uh, this thing the bias variance trade off so underfitting and overfitting and the underfitting occurs when the model is too simple informed by too few features or regularized much and overfitting is doing the more training we will discuss about this in the next video so this is again on uh, that we have discussed so imagine we have collected five different training sets of the same problem now imagine that one algorithm to train five models one for each of your training set bias and variance here refers to the accuracy versus consistency of the models trained by your algorithm we can diagnose them by using few methods so when we talk of low variance that is high bias algorithm tend to be less complex so it means when we are having the variance is low but the bias is high then the algorithm will become complex in that case with a simple or rigid underlying structure with the, because this algorithm train the models that are consistent but inaccurate they include linear or parametric algorithms like regression or naive bayes in that case so when we talk of the other category that is the uh, bias is low but the variance is high then the algorithms are more complex in this case with uh, with flexible underlying structure they train models that are accurate on average but are inconsistent these include non linear or non parametric algorithm like decision trees or the nearest neighbors the trade off is uh, in complexity is why there is a trade off between bias and variance of algorithm so this is the total error in the case uh, this is to build a good predictive model you will need to balance between the bias and variance to minimize the error so how we calculate the total error that is bias is to part 2 plus variance plus irreducible error so what was irreducible error that is noise so total error that we have to calculate is with the formula square of bias plus variance plus noise it is equal to the total error so in this case y square variance we will get the total error and we, our main focus is to reduce this error so if you want to reduce the error we have to reduce the y we have to reduce the variance which are treated by the algorithm but we should again i'm repeating that we should completely deal with the noise that is irreducible error at the time of pre processing before training the model so if we have gone with that we will get the proper fitting of the model which is simply ultimate goal of the supervised learning to isolate the isolate the signal from the data set while ignoring the noise so in that case we will get the points around the line so a proper machine learning workflow basically includes separate training and testing sets trying underlying algorithms fitting model parameters uh, turing infect pool hypermeters proper performance matrix systematic cross validation optimal bias and variance leads to a model op optimized model that is not either underfit or overfit so that's all about bias and variance and bias variance trade off so if you have liked the video and you have got the uh, everything understood so in that case you can uh, subscribe my channel for further op uh, further information or updates so thank you we will meet in the next video